tying a snell knot. So one of the most useful knots in fishing that we use is a snell knot. I use it exclusively when I'm flipping, and there are a couple of reasons that I do. I'll show you once I tie the knot. But I'm gonna tie a, pu a punching setup right now, a flipping setup. I'm gonna show you every step along the way as I do it. So I start out by putting a little bobber stop on the line here. What this is gonna do is it's gonna, it's gonna peg the weight so it doesn't move around once that, uh, once that weight is on there. Slide that up there right now. Next is your weight. This is a big tungsten weight. It's a one ounce XBS tungsten. I'm putting a punch skirt on here. You don't have to. I'm rigging one up on this setup just to add some bulk to it. And next is your hook. So here's the knot. You can see when you're zoomed in here, what I'm doing is I'm taking the line and I run through the top of the hook, always coming down in this direction from the top to the bottom pull out about five inches of line and then I pinch that line up against the shank of the hook there. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna wrap the line around the hook coming back up four or five times. There's four, there's five. Some people do three, some people do five. I'll do four or five. And you've got a little loop here that you created and then the tag end. Take the tag end and run it through the loop and that's it. That's the knot. You're just going to kind of get the line up over the hook keeper there. And uh, it's a super, super strong knot, but I'm going to show you the benefit to it right here once I cut this tag end off. We'll cinch our bobber stop back up. So what's going to happen is you're going to be fishing your bait through the grass. And when the fish comes and grabs your bait, it's going to grab it like this over your weight and it's gonna pull this weight down. You can see when you pull the weight down, look what this hook does. It comes up almost like a trap like that, like a scorpion tail. And it's gonna, when that fish bites it and it comes up like that, you set the hook, that fish is gonna get hooked in the roof of the mouth nine times out of 10, super important. Then just to finish my punch rig off, I'm gonna add a pit boss onto it. And just rig it weedless Texas style. And that's it right there, that's the punch rig. But you can see again, when that fish bites down, that hook comes up and hooks them in the mouth every time it's slipped. 